Welcome back, guys. Going into hour number two here, week 29. Neil, what's going on? So, uh, the party is in Toktar. Jen has bought, I'm sorry, Leia has bought two dogs named whatever Leia wants to name them. Uh, what do you what do with your... What did they say the name was for the dogs? Or did they have names? Yeah, their names are Fetch and Kill. All right. How do we know which one is fetch and which one is kill? How do you tell two other dogs apart? I mean, do they look the same? Do they look I mean, they, they look like two bloodhounds. They're they're very similar, but they have distinctive features. You know, one of them's got like a a mole here, and one of them has a slightly different coloring pattern on his leg. Like, come on, they're dogs. Okay, so are all greyhounds the same color though? I don't. These are both. I mean, they're brothers, so they are similarly colored. Okay. Okay, so I come back with the two dogs, and I'm like, here, hunting dogs. They might be useful, and they're useful for spell components, so I bought some. Are they you come back a second time with two dogs? Yeah. <laughs> Leah, what oh, did you well, find out? Well, I mean, I found out that I bought dogs, and I'm going to hey, be you able brought to us two dogs, at least. You bought two dogs. Yes. Now that I, I have the spell components to locate the guy, if we can find him. We just need to find, see him now. And then I can track him, no matter where he is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just to be clear, we're, I just need you to gather information. We're just finding out if there's a lot of Rossi here or not. You can find out more yeah. about him. That's fine. But you keep coming back with, you know, talks yeah. of dogs and stuff. But we're, it, we yeah, just need yeah. to find out if we can do this. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to head out to my room here. <laughs> <laughs> so you just leave it. I'm like... Uh, did she just drop off two dogs? Yep, exactly what I did. Is this our best now? We got dogs now, Zanzel. You just best come to grips with that, okay? <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess. I mean, Zanzel, you can have cute. one of them. You can have Fetch. They're kind of, okay, hey. hey one Fetch. of the dogs looks up when you say that and goes, <laughs> Don't, uh, don't eat my robe. And he don't seems shit. nice. I don't pet him, I just kind of stare at him. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they seem nice. Uh, all right, so I'm going to head out to my room, and I'm going to clear audience into the Veracity lobby to see if I can hear anything. Oh, yeah, tons of stuff, all sorts of stuff. Can I pick up any conversation? No, not really. You just hear, I mean, so from this, yeah, you, you're just clear audiencing in the main room, and there's just footsteps and chatter, and think about, like, listening if you were to step into a bar, or if you were to step into a big public building and just kind of stand in one spot and listen, you might hear like two words of a conversation as people walk past you, but you wouldn't pick up any conversation, mm. like any individual ah. conversation. It's a big public building. There's lots of people milling about and doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to invis myself. Okay. You cast invisibility on yourself, and you are now invisible. Yeah. I'm gonna head to the town hall. Okay. Keep in mind arrived? that I don't want to bump into people or doors or create It's sounds. a, you know, an awkward walk down the street because people don't ever try and move out of your way and you're always constantly trying to duck and weave in between people. Mm -hmm. You really realize how much just, you know, being able to see people see you affects your, their, your movement through town, but Whatever, you get to the town hall entrance. There are two guards standing outside. Uh, they're both human, and inside there seem to be a bunch of other people. What is interesting to know is that the the guards on the town hall are human, while the guards and patrolling soldiers in the streets are orcs. And as mentioned before, there are lots of soldiers around. Mm-hmm. Um, if I just stand around in this... Do I hear any conversations? Like anything noticeable or important or interesting? Yeah, you find, you know, a section of wall near a corner where next to a fake plant, or I guess there's no fake plants back then, next to a, a potted plant. Um, and you listen and you, you hear people walking about talking about stuff, but it's none of it is interesting to you. It's None of it is relating to the mine or to this yeah. guy or to and the Long Kingdom. That one guy, how much description did we have of him? Not much, right? You know his name is Lieutenant Jenkrill. 
And we don't know what he looks like or what he wears. Nope. Alright. Um, I'm gonna try to get up the stairs if there's nobody in the way. It takes you a little while to, you know, maneuver your way up the stairs, but you get there. Uh, you are now... Yeah, so the first... Let's describe this building. Yeah, the, maybe there was The entrance rooms. way is kind of just a, a big foyer, a big entrance where it's like 20 feet wide, 30 feet long, and there's a couple of staircases, or there's a staircase that goes off of it. Not 30 feet long. It's 20 by 20. It's a, Yeah, 20 by 20. There's some staircases in the front. There's some doors behind the staircases, and there's a big set of double doors behind that, which you assume because uh, you know as per most towns that would lead into the big audience chamber where you'd hold like a town hall meeting or something mm -hmm. um the stairs kind of go off the sides and there's two separate staircases the left one and the right one and they just kind of go up to the second floor actually they, they go up to the second floor turn go up turn go up turn go up so you can all go all the way to the fourth floor from this set of staircase if you want mm -hmm. um but there's also doors off of it to go in other places I'm going to go to the first floor. Okay. You get to the first floor. There's a set of doors that are already open. Um, they leave the doors open during day. Uh, yeah. And, and it runs what do I the, find on the first floor? It's a hallway that runs down the side of the building with windows looking out the left side of the building and doors on the right side. There are people walking down the hallway and there is a single guard posted at the, the door from the staircase into the hallway. If I listen in, what are people talking about? Just random stuff, not him. I mean, there's like someone, there's just a couple, like a pair of people walking down the hallway. Humans are discussing the the trees along the road between Toktar and the mine, you know, and whether or not they need to go back and cut, you know, trim trees again. It's okay. really boring. And where is the guard standing exactly? On the staircase next to the door. One of the doors is actually clo opened up and like folded against the wall behind him. So his back is to one of the doors. Okay, I'm going to try to peek, like to see a glimpse of what's behind him exactly. Physically, there's a door behind him. Oh, it's a closed door. I thought you no, said it's it an open there. door. The door is opened, and then as it opens, it opens against the wall. Like, it opens all the way out, 180 degrees. So... I don't get it. I'm sorry. Like, okay, so Jit, take take the door you, you, to a room is... and open it until it won't open anymore. It's now pressed against a wall, right? And yeah, the door is open. So... It's pressed against the wall. His back is to the door. Okay, I'm just okay, going to so go there's, into. Okay, so there's time. an open path there that I can see. Yeah, that's why I described what was behind okay, it. Okay, that's. And what was behind it? A hallway with windows on the left and oh. doors on the right. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't follow properly. I guess. Okay. Cool. No, we're good. Then. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna wait a little bit and examine what he does exactly. See if he like moves around or just stays there, or if anyone comes out. Uh, yeah. So, like people are, thirty people minutes. Come and go. And... Yeah, there, a bunch of people have started walking down the hallway. People have come in and out of the doors in the hallway. People have gone upstairs. People have gone downstairs. Okay. I'm going to go through the doors then. Okay, so you go through the you go through the set of open doors on the first floor on the left side. Yeah, the one that's just like right next to, right? Right, right. And you start walking okay. down the hallway. You have a series of windows on the left. You have a series of doors on the right. And they're all closed? Yes. Uh, there's a few of them that are open, but they're I mostly look. closed. You, you walk down the hallway. The open doors seem to lead into offices. You know, there's someone in there doing some, you know, writing some things, and there's a couple other people around them, and they're having a discussion. You listen in on one discussion, it's, you know, talking about the, the wells in the town, and whether or not there's enough water in them to sustain the town for another period of time. And others talking about supplies for um, the, what do you call them, granaries. And another one's talking about uh, what to do with the local prisoners. And they all seem to just have it being, having discussions about town logistics. Very boring stuff. Okay. Other rooms that are open? That thing? <coughs> Sorry. That's what's in the open rooms, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. how many closed rooms are there? And are all the open rooms like offices and not like sleeping quarters? Yeah, they're all offices. Uh, and there's and about a dozen closed ones. And they did say that this guy slept in this building, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go to the third floor now. 
All right. You head back out, go up the stairs, avoiding a few people there. You make it to the third floor landing again, guard on the door, but same thing, kind of like a set of double doors that is opened all the way, uh, windows on the left, doors on the right. Okay, I'm going to do the same deal. Wait till it's clear, yada yada, see if there's open doors, see what I can see through doors. Uh, none of the doors on this floor are opened. When you reach the end of the hallway, the hallway does turn and go across the back of the building as well. I'll keep going. Okay, there's a staircase that leads down from here, uh, down to the first floor, and presumably second floor too, but it does not go up. This hallway runs the length of the back of the wall until it hits, you know, the the wall on the other side of the building. There's a staircase on the other side of the building. There's It just seems like you know, the the perimeter is covered in doors. Because you go all the way around the third floor, and it's just a series of doors. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I take note of where the these rooms are located, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna go check out the second floor. You already did the second floor. Are you no, going back the to the fourth. second floor? I did. You did the second like, and then the third. What? You said I, I go did... to the second floor, and then you said I go to the third floor. No, at the beginning I said I went to the fourth floor. You said second. Really? Yep. That... Alright, then I'm going to go to the fourth floor. Okay, you arrive at the fourth floor. The The staircases kind of meet up at a central platform on the top, which other, other than that platform, it's kind of empty space below. So if you're on the ground floor looking up, you see up three stories until you get to the, the platform up there. The yeah, everyone floor... said I said fourth, just so we're all... Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I heard I second. Just, I said fourth twice. I, was, I made a mental note. Like, why is she going to the second floor? The fourth floor is the most obvious place to go. Yeah, that's why I said fourth and people... Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go to the fourth floor now. All right. You're a fourth floor now. Uh, the fourth floor is... Uh, as I said, the door... The stairway leads to a door that is closed with two guards standing on either side of the door. Okay, I'm going to wait until... Yeah, all my people are saying second, Jen. What? All my people are saying fourth. Koi Blue Chat is all saying fourth, second. Your well, people are all... I mean, all of Roleplay Chat is saying whatever. Does it Where really matter? No, it doesn't honest, matter. Let's be honest, does it actually really it fucking really matter? It answer, doesn't matter The answer the from my people, which is me, is no. So please continue <laughs> on. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I'm going to stick around there, like trying to be out of the way and see if anyone comes out or if anyone comes in and if the guards if the door ever opens so how long do you i mean so you stand there for you know two minutes three minutes four minutes and it's pretty much just two guards standing at the door they're not saying anything they're humans they are kind of like very alert paying attention looking down the stairwell um they're not talking to each other they they seem to be paying good attention <clears throat> And if I wait, like, half an hour. All right. Uh, after half an hour, there... Um, there are two men coming up the staircase dressed in black robes with uh, necklaces that have a skull attached to them, which you would recognize as the the clerical symbol of Varasi. Um, they are discussing things back and forth in closed uh, uh, close whispers to one another uh, you can't really make out any of their conversation only there was a master spy within just a couple of feet of these two people that think they're by themselves <laughs> so I can't hear at all what they're making I mean they're whispering to each other as they walk if you you can try and get close and listen to their whispers but then you're gonna risk you know it sounds like swiggity swiggity like you know if, if two people are walking <laughs> and have no idea that you're there and you're trying to listen in on them. If one of them stops momentarily to do something, you'll bump into them. Or if you're trying to listen from in front, and you know, you, you risk the chance of bumping into them. Uh, to be completely safe and to guarantee you won't touch them, you can't hear what you're what okay. they're saying. Could I follow them into the doors? Well, they, they get to the stop of the staircase and... Uh, just kind of like li- lift their heads and look at the sol- the guards. The guards glance down at their amulets, kind of give a nod. 
and open the doors and they start to walk in and give me if you want to try and slip in the doors before they shut the doors give me a dexterity check a mm. failure dictates you get caught in the doors a success dictates you go through you have yeah. two seconds to make your decision i can't do One, it no two, not doing it boom. okay no. doors close behind them i have shit dexterity i'm not doing it <laughs> that's what i looked for uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll wait another half hour to see if like anything else comes by. Uh, yeah, you know, fifteen ten minutes later, uh, some two soldiers carrying uh, a man who's got his hands manacled to them open the doors and come down, and the doors shut behind them, and they they proceed out of the doors and down the staircase. All right, I'm gonna go back to the party. Okay. You arrive back at the party. It's been three hours since you left, so you've been traveling. It, it's nighttime now, because you got here this day. Alright. Yeah, what, what have you them. found out? Well, I am fairly certain that they're staying in the fourth floor, which is already quite a progress. I have also seen that they have at least two clerics wearing, like, the cleric signs of Veracity, so they do have spellcasters around here. It's not just one guy, it's a bunch of okay. spellcasters, at least. Uh, and there's many on the fourth floor, so it's not like the guy is just... Like, how many might Veracity be did you see? How many guards and whatnot? Yeah, how many did I see? At least one per floor. Um, Two at the fourth. Yeah, they were pretty much just third. guards on the doors outside of the city hall. They were frequent patrols of bands of orcs moving together. Inside the uh, the city hall, you did see those soldiers that were walking with the gar uh, the prisoner. Other than that, there were just guards on doors. Didn't look that bad. It looked pretty light. And if they're if they're your standard one or two hit die guards, they would not be that much of a trouble for you. Mm -hmm. Two clerics mm -hmm. sounds pretty serious, though. Um, yeah. That's the scary part. Everything they must else be didn't guarding seem guarding this very... metal quite closely. It's probably important to the army. Or we haven't encountered this mithril though, have we? No one has it equipped to them or anything like that, right? Mithril so... is very, very rare. It's probably reserved for you know higher in the in the army, uh, the generals, and super valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, this is a uh, let's let's put to a vote because this is extremely uh, I can... extracurricular. Yeah, I can try to at least cast clairvoyance a few times, but I don't think it's a like being a spy is not a one day deal, so I would need more days probably. Oh, I know. It's not You've just done great. You've get done in great and get that. out type of deal. Exactly. Now it's time to vote. So <clears throat> the original plan or idea would be to try to assassinate the officer. Based on your description, it sounds like that would be very hard to do and get out safely, especially with well, clerics. I think it would be doable, but we would need a lot more time to study the goings and comings of people and see where the guy is exactly. Vincent, that sounds right up your alley. Finding an accurate description. Who the hell is Vincent? Victorian, that sounds right up yes. your alley. <laughs> is it worth our time? Bless well, that's it. what we're trying to put to a vote. But... What do you guys think? Uh, do we care about collateral damage? We would try to minimize it, yes. We would not want to set the town on fire, of course not. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Um, you sure? Because we could just, like, fireball and get out, and he'd be dead. You've gotten pretty evil lately, Zanzel, but yes, we, we do <laughs> care about not killing an entire town of people that are occupied by the... I mean, the it would just be the top of the building. You know, you can... Yeah! You Make... could burn the fourth floor completely. <laughs> you know, this Verasi general, he's got to come out into the town at some point. Why don't we just casually try and see him when he comes out in the daytime and see if he's wearing mithril? Uh, well, he's not a general. He's a lieutenant. So Look, guys, we, we have a journey. Not. So, I, Like I said, uh, it's just an idea. But if we're committing to it, sure, we can stay a couple of days, gather more information. But I'm asking for a vote. So you guys keep throwing out question marks, and that's fine. But that's let's answer those questions if we well, stay. As as a wizard, you know, I, I I like to know more about things before I make the decision. So that's leading to the question. I what could I could to rephrase I in, to. The, in the form that's not a question. We should just see the lieutenant walking around town and see if he's wearing mithril. I I vote we stay. What I mean, 
Okay. The kid's not going to die tomorrow, is he? Lay out face palms. Could, but that'd be terrible. Yes. Okay, I mean, so Zanzel says it? we stay. Figure it out. <laughs> Tariq. Like... To be honest, Leah, I don't Leah, think Leah, wait a second. You'll have your turn, right. please. Let's let other people talk, too. Tariq, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I just said it. I can repeat myself. I mean, if we're trying to kill this guy, he's got to come out in the town. I think. So you want to stay as well? Yes, I think we should stay and just see if he's wearing it. And if not, I like my plan to take the caravan either leading out of town or in from the mine. Uh... Oh, so you're you're voting on so you want to you want to get Mithril is what you're saying either way. Well, I think there's there's several towns that we pass through with Verasi. Killing this Verasi general, do I think it's going to have a huge impact on the overall armory? Probably not. I think it will have a big impact on our party though if we we'll be able to get the Mithril and be much stronger for it. Okay. And I guess mechanically, I didn't understand this, but the the keep is outside of town. No, it's inside town. Oh, see, the chat was wrong then. <clears throat> um, okay, Leah, sorry. Go ahead. Your turn now. What What is your vote? Yeah, I vote that we move on because how many times are we going to stop in a city to collect better armors for two people? I Like, it's probably not even going to fit you. We're going to need to wait four more months well, for it to be no, adjusted. No, no, no. That's not the plan. It, we weren't, we're not talking about assembling armor out of this metal. We're talking about cutting off a resource to them and gaining something valuable for us. And... I still this think ride. that we should keep moving because I think okay. we're wasting our time. But apparently, think... once again, I'm the only one disagreeing. Well, I, I haven't voted yet either. Hang on, Leah, before you get super Do the dogs super get emo. a vote? The dogs do not get a vote. Okay. Um, right. Remember, if this comes to a draw, we we settle this with arm wrestling. This is the typical <laughs> tiebreaker. So. All right. I have Tariq on my side then. <laughs> Leah, you'll uh, also remember the, the last time you were vehemently against our plan. It worked out pretty okay, correct? I mean, we had a fucking army after us, is, is, if is that's what you mean by pretty okay. Yes, we did kill the army. No, well, there is not that a good small sign. detail. It's not a good sign. I would take that as a non-argument. 50-50 on my scale. Uh, you said a whole bunch of stuff that didn't make a lot of sense afterwards, but uh, here's my vote. I am not actually in disagreement with Leah. This sounds pretty tough. However, uh, I like the idea of at least finding out more information before acting. So call me a... Let's give it another day or two. And uh, if we don't like what we see, if we don't think we can take the town, let's get out of here. If we do like what we see, let's stop them from getting Mithril and let's cut off one of the many heads of Rossi. How's that sound? Uh, yeah. Here is what I will propose to put this plan into action. Since it's been voted, and Leah, I know you've You've been at least somewhat outvoted for now. Here is what I propose. Two of us look for the general and see what's going on with him. The other two of us, uh, or even I could go by myself, see uh, or ask around town and find out what's going on with paths coming in, of the, in from the mine or out of town. And then we can act after we know. Does this sound better, Leah? Okay. All right. Well, let's let's rest. Let's sleep so on it tonight and tomorrow, Leah. If you can keep information gathering, and who do we have check in on the uh, the caravan then? Also, I before it's not a general. He's just like a lieutenant. I just yeah, he's just an officer. Yeah. Lieutenant. He's okay. not a big shot. He's a little shitlord. Uh, what, what was your question? Who you want doing what? Well, yeah, uh, Tariq said we should have someone else getting information as well. So I'm asking who who would do that. Well, I would think that a Templar is going to make a lot of hoopla if he's could put around. your squire to work. You know, friend, he hasn't. Uh, he's not quite identified as one That's of us. That's where yet. I was going. Indeed, I could. Where I was going. He seems very hardy. That one. Very uh, constitution. Very hard. Can we put Rectar up there too? <laughs> yes. Or no, that is Rectar. Rectar that is, Rectar. is the squire. Yes. What's the? Uh, character? the cap. Yeah, we can put the captain if you want. Maybe they could be a duo, and we could watch Neil DM three people at once. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go talk to Helen while this is all going on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's let's give it a solid day of gathering information, and then we'll meet again at night. But uh, Leah, I, I am sympathetic. You were right. You were vehemently against it last time, and this time, this is extracurricular. But just so you know, we're not talking about sticking around and assembling armor. It's just a couple of day thing, and we want to kill Verasi. That sounds good. Yeah, and I want to I want to okay. play with my dude dog. He seems cute. So. Uh, the night comes, 
You guys are Good staying at your, your tavern, your inn. <clears throat> uh, next morning, you guys wake up, you get fed. Helen takes the babe out for, you know, some fresh air, but, you know, carefully hidden, blah, blah, blah. She's been doing this for a while now. Um, and you guys split up to gather information and check on things. Who is going where? Uh, my squire is checking out information about the mines. Yeah, I okay. send the captain with him as well. Or, or the mithril. So anything coming into town from the mines or leaving town to go to other cities, whatnot. Yeah, I send Helgar with them with the information of if anyone asks, you are Captain Helgar's squire. And that Captain Helgar, you make up a name. Your name's not Captain Helgar. It's something else. Indeed. But this is your squire. William Wallace. We also all gain two more health, by the way. Okay. One, one health. The the pasty stuff only works Arrow. for two days. Yeah. And also, Reptar will go by the official name John Bonham for the the purposes <laughs> of this. Okay. Excellent. So Helgar and Reptar head out together under false names to learn about uh, the mines, right? Yeah. And what about Leah? I'm missing <laughs> spell list to Neil right now. <laughs> Okay. Um, While you're doing that, Neil, I guess I, I'm gonna oh. still study the f weird fortress thing, like the town hall deal. Okay. Anything else? Anyone? Uh, I realize that I there's no way for you to answer the first question I sent you in Skype, but the second question is, what I I that's still valid. But I know what that is, as a oh. character. You can't answer oh. the first one because I my character would have no idea. Right, the first one's about hit DM points, right? bullshit, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. know that. Um, let me look up what the fuck that is to begin with. <laughs> okay. I think I know what it is. I just want to make sure. And it's not it's not random. If you read his yeah, abilities, there's a reason why I would do this specific <laughs> creature. And you can just message Yeah, you me. would probably have read about them. You've never encountered one. You don't know if they exist in this world, but um, in theory, you have heard of these creatures. And that's all I need for the spell, right? For Polymorph? Yeah. I think so. I don't know if you can Polymorph into... Hmm, interesting. Neil, when the day ends, let me know because I'm casting it. <laughs> when the day God. ends... In the oh privacy God. of my room. It's poor fetch. You gave me um, a subject and I will use it. Okay, well, let me look up that stuff. So, uh, who are we dealing with? Leia, what are you doing? You're You're GP so generally asking. gathering information, you said? Yeah. I would, have, gonna... I would have asked her to find out, like, how many soldiers are in town. There's two clerics, apparently great. But, like, just general, you know, tactics. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to try that. So, you... Are you okay? You walk around town trying to gather information about stuff, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to see how many soldiers I see. Like, I don't need to be in this for that. I'll just right. walk around, look, try to see okay. how many Veracity flagged buildings there are, if there's more than just the town hall. Oh, yeah. A lot of official, all the official buildings have Veracity flags. There's flags on every entrance into town. Um, and around anything that might be slightly official, even uh, gathering. You're trying to get a ballpark. I mean, this is a this is definitely a small city. So, the population of the city is probably twenty thousand, thirty thousand people. About four percent of that. No, not four percent. One percent of that would be soldiers ish in this city. So twenty. Well, yeah. Okay. So what? One uh, so there's probably of... you probably have something like 250 to 300 soldiers in town all all totaled together. All uh, right. My god. Then in terms of clerics and wizards and whatnot, it's a little bit harder to gather just by walking through town. I have uh, really good perception. <laughs> yeah. 16. Yeah. You 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 saw the two earlier. And you don't encounter any wizards in the town that you can find. 
but you do see a another paired set of clerics. Give me and it's not a, the same. Give me a charisma check. Social skills to see if you can tell whether or not they're the same people. Thirteen. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, it is a different pair of clerics. Milady. Okay, so we have four clerics minimum. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Um, and then after walking around for a while, I'm gonna do my invisibility trick again. Okay, you find some dark, shadowy alleyway, crouch down behind some water barrels, and cast invisibility, and you are now invisible. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna go... Ah, shit, I wanted to cast another spell before, and it's too late, isn't it? Yep. Damn it! Fine. It's okay. I'll still go in. And try to you... go into the town hall again. Okay, you get back into the town hall. 